Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Lazy Couch Thoughts. Today, we're gonna be talking about the LSU baseball team and why I think they can actually win the College World Series this year. So we just kind of dig right in. Um, LSU baseball right now, I wanna say they're like eight and one or seven and one. They only have one loss. Um, I'm not sure the exact amount of games that they've played. I Yeah, but they are just, they look dominant right now. Um, they look like the type of team that can go deep and make a run in uh, Omaha. They look like a team that's gonna be playing in June. And that's kind of expected at LSU, but it's something we haven't experienced in a couple years now. So it's going to feel real good to be playing in Omaha again. So looking at this team, the main reason why I can take a step back and look at this team and say, hey, you know, this team, this team can win it all. Well, there's three reasons, really. Um, number one, they're starting rotation deep. Jaden Hill is a potential number one overall pick in the MLB draft this summer. He's pretty much a lock for a top five, and then you still have Landon Marceau. Both of those pitchers can be a Friday night guy on almost any staff in the country. Then you add in the fact that AJ, AJ didn't really get it going yet, and we're still, what, seven and one, or whatever the record is, and AJ still really didn't get it going yet. I think AJ can be, you know, the third guy. I think he can be like an Eric Walker in his freshman year of, uh, of that uh, world, that college world series run, and I think that he can be an integral part of this. Uh, I think it's gonna be nice for him to know, like, hey, I don't have to do it all on me. I have Hill, I have Marceau, like, I have other guys to lean on, and honestly, we have a very strong lineup. LSU's uh, lineup this year is one through nine. It's very deep, and then there's probably four or five guys off the bench that can come in and produce, and just produce off the bench. I mean, there's there's people right-handed pop, left-handed pop. You have. Uh, defense off the bench you have people that can just play baseball and this team's deep uh, and like it's not just one through nine it's probably one through 14 that's how deep how deep this team is and like you saw on um sun saturday night against Nichols, they took out the starters and lsu just kept scoring because oh the bench guys can also you know they're all fringe starters like anybody on this team can go in there and produce on any given day but then you look at guys like dylan cruz who's a freshman, who in the first seven games, <laughs> he's hit 16 balls over 100 miles per hour. 16 times in seven games, this dude has hit a ball over 100 miles per hour. You have Cade Beloso still raking. You have Gavin Dugas coming, just first time healthy, basically, and he's out there playing gorilla ball. Uh, you have Cade Doty. You have Trey Morgan, who looks like a stud. Trey Morgan, the freshman, looks like a stud with the stick and with the glove. He had a defensive inning on Friday night against Youngstown, and it might be one of the best defensive innings I've ever seen out of a third baseman and like, I mean, out of a first baseman and just baseball history, not college baseball history, not like LSU baseball history, just baseball. That kid can flat out play, and man, this team is so, so, so deep. Like, I'm getting like jazzed up thinking about it. There's pretty much only one thing that I can see holding LSU back right now, and it starts with Paul and Enzo Maneri. Yeah, that's that's pretty much the one thing I can see holding LSU back right now. Um, yeah, that's a that's a conversation for a different day. I've never been the biggest pulmonary guy. I don't like how he doesn't like setting consistent lineups. I don't think he knows how to write a, a lineup card. Uh, he's still thinking that your best hitter should bat three hole. Yeah, uh, he still likes to bunt a lot. Not really the biggest fan of bunting. He should probably never bunt. Yeah. But, and then lastly, the LSU bullpen's pretty good too, man. You have Devin Fontenot, who's out there, just nasty. You have Matt Beck, you have uh, Hilliard, you have other guys, uh, Aaron George, who can spend it. Like, there's just guys in this bullpen that, I don't know, it'd be nice if we had like maybe one or two more arms in a bullpen, but you have a deep starting rotation. Uh, like, in a, whenever you're going to Omaha, if Jaden Hill's giving you, you know, eight, if Landon Marshall can give you seven or eight, then... You don't really need the bullpen as much, you know. Beck can throw one game, Fondo can throw one game, and all of a sudden your bullpen is still fresh, you know. So I'm very excited about this team, and it all stems from the one fact of just the word depth. There's just so much depth on this team, and man, like I'm telling you, go look up on LSU Baseball's website. Go look up the statistics. Go look at the amount of guys. I'm going to just use batting average here. Forgive me. It's a cardinal sin, I know. But almost every single guy, I think every single starter is batting over 300. Now, batting average really doesn't mean much, but batting over 300 is still, you know, a good indicator. But then you see, oh, they're batting over 300 and their slugging percentage is over 500. 
UK. So these guys not only get on base a ton, like they're crushing the ball. So uh, LSU website doesn't have OPS on it and I really didn't feel like adding it up because it kind of looks like someone like threw up on a page whenever you look at their statistics. It's not clean like baseball reference or fan graphs. So yeah, but anyways, guys, I'm very excited about this LSU baseball team. I really think they can make a deep run in Omaha this year. And I think they're gonna surprise some people out of the SEC. I'm just honestly excited college baseball is back. College baseball is just so like wacky and fun. And it's just it's just the best. Um, you see like Cinderella teams come out of nowhere and make a run. And um, I saw this one guy on Twitter talking about why he loves college baseball so much. And he said, because college baseball, uh, pretty much obviously anything can happen, but whenever you hit like the SEC tournament, whenever you hit like the conference tournaments, a team that could have been like middle of the pack can just catch fire and just start beating up on everybody. And then all of a sudden like the top tier teams like get like real nervous and get like really scared. And they, you know, just kind of go in and like win the SEC. And, or like they'll go in and like win like the ACC. And all of a sudden a team that probably shouldn't even be in the NCAA tournament is out there. All of a sudden they win a regional and like they're they're going to play at wherever for a super region. It's just, it's stuff like that that's just like really fun and uh, just really wacky and things like that. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, LSU baseball fans, comment below what your thoughts on making a deep run in Omaha this year. Uh, maybe say why you think they would, why you think they wouldn't. Whatever one you're thinking right now, I can't really decide for you. But anyways, I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Peace.